Yeah. Christian Michael here. This is episode 109 of Christian Michael's Figure Review. Today, we were going to unbox Bobos. That's right, we got another subscription box from the great people at Big Old Box of Stuff. This is the first box of my last subscription of Big Old Box of Stuff. This is my third three month subscription. Uh, as great as they are, I will not be renewing after these three months are up. Uh, I'm getting married in three weeks, so kind of need the money for adult things like a house and possibly little Christians. So as great as they are, you know, you got to refocus the funds in other areas. But we still have three more big old boxes of stuff. And here's the first one of the three. So we found our unboxing knife. Now I like, there we go. I like doing the little whoo trick. All right, so let's open up the big old box of stuff and see what we got her. Got some super duper tape going on today. So, Jesus, man. Holy crap. Oh, they taped the sides. Be a good idea to cut the sides of the box too there, genius. Alright, I changed up the questionnaire a little bit this time to hopefully get different items coming in because you know, uh, you ever did big old box of stuff, uh, they ask you a questionnaire, that's how you get the stuff sent to you because they try to cater it to your, uh, to your liking. So I changed it up a little bit, put a couple of different things on there that I hadn't had in the past to try to, uh, you know, see if I could get some different things going on. So let's see what we got here. First thing we notice is we got a t-shirt. I'm not an extra large, but they sent a friggin' extra large t-shirt. Of, uh, bada boom, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here we go. Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is a promotional t-shirt that they were selling at GameStop. Um, as you can see here, when WWE 2K16 was uh, coming out. I've seen these at GameStop's. So a little promotional t-shirt here. I think they were selling for like 10 or 12 bucks. Uh, they ask you for your size and then they send you not your size. But pretty rad t-shirt. I was thinking about buying one when, they, when it uh, saw it in the store. But it didn't. So now I got one that doesn't fit me. Okay. Next up here. Ooh. Going, going uh, to see this movie very soon. Mystery Mini, Batman versus Superman. Now, if this is going to be uh, regular old Batman, we're going to have a problem. Because, I already have that one. But, you know, let's see what we got here. Several others that we could come up with. Hopefully it's maybe Armored Batman, or even Bruce Wayne. Nightmare Batman, as he was being called by the people at Pop. See what we got her. Yeah, I can. F I like feeling inside to see what it might be. I think this is the Superman soldier they're calling him. Ooh, no, pretty badass. It's Wonder Woman. Very, very nice. There you go. So this was pretty cool to get Wonder Woman. You can see the uh, others in the box there. You got Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman. That's Alfred. I'm assuming that's Bruce. Armored Batman. Clark Kent. I guess that's Diana. Uh, that they're calling that a dude Superman Soldier. Nightmare Batman and Wonder Woman. So pretty badass that we got Wonder Woman there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I just dropped my whole big old box of stuff on the floor. But whatever dude. Right? Right. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, we got Jesse Pinkman Cook action figure. Um, there you go. Pretty rad, pretty rad. You can see the other ones in the set there. You got Heisenbergler, Jesse Pinkman in his uh, street gear, Gus, Walter White, and Walter White Cook. We got Jesse the Cook. Boom. So pretty cool, pretty cool to go with other Breaking Bad stuff that I got. Next up, we got some Pop Rocks. Don't even remember the last time I had Pop Rocks, but yeah. All right. See, this is one of the things that I added was uh, 
Simpson stuff. So we got a, a Duff Beer bottle koozie. And we got Simpsons uh, cards here. I think I remember having these when I was a kid, but I don't know where the heck they are anymore. Let's take a look at them, see what we got, see what we got. Typical Simpsons fashion here. 16 dynamic cards and one crumb sticker. All right. Got yourself a Homer. There's the kids. So the thing with the Simpsons cards is, is that when you built, you can see on the back there, when you have them all, they built, it's a puzzle. You put the puzzle together, you can frame it if you want. Uh, and then if they weren't puzzle pieces, they had a, what they called Bart's Bafflers on the back. And you got a little Simpsons trivia. Here you can see uh, what the puzzle should look like right there when you collect all 40 cards of let me call it picture A. Awesome, awesome. There was also uh, Maggie's Mutterings, also another trivia. Or Lisa's Lowdown. You can see the uh, card on the front side. These are probably, based on the uh, animations, they look like they're from the first season. And this is the sticker. No, which side is the sticker? This is, I think this side's the sticker. So pretty cool. The animations were a little crude in the first season. I mean, obviously gotten better as they uh, went along there. So they did put down Simpsons this time, hoping to grab some Homer gear. And they sent these Simpsons cards, which were pretty cool. Nice little nostalgia. I had them when I was younger. Like I said, don't know where they are now. And um, the Homer bottle koozie, which, you know, I got a Homer bottle koozie now. Awesome. All right. Also, I put I put the turtles, Ninja Turtles, either movies or the original animated series, and they send you something like this, which is from uh, the Nickelodeon TV series. They're like a Mini Mates mystery mini type deal. So let's uh, open it up and see what we got here. And it looks like uh, Don looks like a Donatello, right? I would say it's Donatello. They're calling that Vision Quest Donatello. Don't know what the hell that might be, but all right. Still a pretty little cool Ninja Turtle get up here. Also, we have some uh, WrestleMania cards. Road to WrestleMania. Seven cards. Packs with an insert may only contain one to five cards, so that's good. They give you a special insert, and then they take shit away from you. Great. Ooh, this one's pretty badass. Finn Balor. This is uh, Kevin Owens, Bailey, the Beast. Now this is probably the only time you'll ever hear this in your life. Tyler Breeze and Adam Rose defeat Hideo Tommy and Finn Balor. It's an odd pairing, to say the least, down on NXT. Um, this is the Elimination Chamber when Ryback won the Intercontinental Title. And there's the security tag in case you tried stealing it, you degenerate bastards. Stealing fucking cards. But anyway, this is the Undertaker WrestleMania card. So, you know, nice little set here. Got some cards. And the final item in the box is uh, Boom from Rocky Balboa, a Mike Tyson figure. So, pretty rad, pretty rad. Don't have this one. So I am glad that I finally got a Rocky figure that I don't actually have. So I know it's not Rocky, it's Mike Tyson. It's a nice little collectible to have. So, all right. Then we got a note here from Bobos. Hi there, it's your old pal Bobo the Robot. If you're wondering why I'm colorless on the outside of the box, the reason is simple. We decided to let you color your Bobo any way you want. Blah, blah, blah. Then post your creation on Facebook. They'll choose up to 10 entries based on creativity. And they'll draw three names for a great prize giveaway. Yay. Alright, so other than that, the box is empty. Uh, not the greatest big old box of stuff I've ever gotten, but still some really cool items. Like I said, digging this Mike Tyson figure. Would have never bought this on my own, but, you know, good for Bobos for sending that. Love the uh, Wonder Woman Mystery Mini. I'm going to collect those now. 
And you know, we got this here, Jesse Pinkman um, figure. I don't remember putting Breaking that Bad back down on my uh, questionnaire. I did for the first time that I had Bobos, but I don't remember putting it down for this time. But they sent it. It's a rad figure. I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, not really complaining about much other than um, I didn't want stuff from the, the cartoon series. Uh, I, hate, I hate that my iPad is connected to my phone and I get goddamn text messages and it just pops up when I'm trying to do shit. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you know, whatever. It, it's still, I would have preferred, if I would have gotten like Raphael or Michelangelo, I wouldn't have been uh, that upset over it. But, you know, it's still a pretty cool little collectible. You have the Simpsons cards and the WrestleMania cards. So, oh, overall, again, worth it. Go to BigOldBoxStuff.com, fill out your questionnaire, just try them for a month. If you don't like it, it's, what, 30 35 bucks maybe, and you're still going to get your money's worth. And if you don't feel like you got your money's worth, it's only one month commitment. Um, it is what, you know, that's what it comes down to. If you got the 35 bucks to spend, then try out big old box of stuff. I mean, I have, I've never gotten a box where I said, Jesus Christ, what a waste of money, which I have said for other subscription boxes that I've gotten. And you know what ones I get because I unbox them all here on this channel. So... Definitely check out Big Old Box of Stuff. Definitely rate, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Um, yes, follow me on Twitter at Christian underscore 973.